Welcome to another edition of Trial by Magis. Today I'm doing a Recklin Skunk Works review of an aircraft that you will see very rarely in the game. This is the Bell Aircraft XP-77, or as I called her, the Arafail. This was a reward aircraft for closed beta testers who exceeded a certain amount of battles during the uh, pre-release phase of the game. This is a Tier 5 light premium fighter from the American Tech Tree, and she's pretty interesting. The story on this aircraft, which was actually built, is back in the early days of World War II, when the outcome was in doubt, the American uh, defense decided that a emergency fighter was of use. That being a aircraft that would use a simple engine, simple mechanics, and be built mostly of non-strategic materials. So the XP-77 here was built mostly of wood and used an engine that was very, very uh, common. This is actually the same engine that was used in the uh, P-40 Warhawk. Gun-wise, the XP-77 is fairly lightly armed. She has a single 20mm cannon that fires through the nose hub there, and she has a pair of 50 cals mounted to either side of that central cannon there on the upper nose. Both of those machine guns are synchronized and fire through the propeller. All three of them are very tightly gathered, so the firepower of the XP-77 is light, but heavily concentrated, so you get in close and uh, those guns are really accurate. As far as uh, flight capabilities go, unlike most other American fighters, uh, this is not an energy fighter. Uh, when she was first introduced, she was referred to as the American Yak, because the XP-77 Arafail has most of the flight uh, characteristics of the uh, the Yakovlev uh, line of fighters from the Russian branch. The problem with this is, is that, uh, well, not only is turn and burn fighting not really productive in the meta of World of Warplanes, it requires uh, a low-hanging dogfight with other turn and burn fighters, The XP-77 is not that good at it. There are plenty of aircraft that are far superior at uh, the turn-and-burn game, like the Japanese Zeros, uh, the uh, the Russian Lag-3 and uh, Yak-5, uh, the Spitfire from the uh, Royal Air Force. All of these outshine the Arafail in a turn fight and most of them have better firepower as well, and better health. The only edge that the XP-77 has on them is that she is a very small target. Look at how narrow those wings are. She is a tough bird to hit, but when you start landing hits on her, she doesn't put up with a lot of punishment. She'll go down really quickly. Also, the XP-77 can be defeated by another turn-and-burn aircraft simply by keeping it in a turn fight. The XP-77 will keep up with you for a while if you're flying a, a Spitfire or a, a Zero. It won't keep up with the Zero in a turn fight at all. But the longer the XP-77 stays in a turn fight, the more energy she bleeds. And she bleeds energy a lot, so the Arafail pilot has to continually use his boost to keep the Arafail in her uh, 
performance envelope as far as speed goes, and you can force them to either overheat their engines in the middle of a dogfight, and once they run out of boost, the XP-77 bleeds off the last bit of speed, they drop into the yellow band, and then they're dog meat. These are the reasons that you do not see era fails very often, if at all. I mean, I don't even bother to fly mine for a daily double. Uh, I will, I will fly it on a dare. That is about it. That enough. I want to take her out into a battle and have someone say, "Oh, hey, what's that?" You well, know, this is a goofy-looking plane with uh, zero firepower, and it's worse in a dogfight than yours. What do you want me to say? Now. There are folks who are better light fighter pilots than me who have made this thing really shine. I've gotten, even I've gotten aces in, uh, in the era fail, and I'm sure that there is someone out there who's gotten a Gorevet or, uh, a, well, not a Klosterman, because you can't take out ground targets with it. But I'm sure there's guys that are that have gotten better medals than me in this thing. I still solidly maintain that they would have done even better if they were flying something that fought the same way but was a different aircraft. Now, to show off what this thing can do in combat, I do have a recording of the best fight I've ever had in an XP-77. This goes all the way back to patch 1.2, maybe 1.3 back when we had full 15-on-15 15 15 battles with all humans on both sides, shortly after release, uh, when the XP-77 was still something you would see in the skies. Uh, my fierce or farce video was back under my old uh, recording tools, so I'm giving it a high-definition touch-up and presenting it here. I hope you enjoy it. Good hunting.
for you.